In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this cool text cutout effect in PowerPoint in just a few minutes. And we'll also look at how you can customize it to fit your own style. This effect can be used for any type of picture and it's easy to customize and to create your own versions of it. And I think it really helps to create nice, engaging presentations. The tutorial consists of three parts. First, we'll look at creating the design, so the cutout of the text. Then we'll look at the animation part and we'll look at the customization part. And we're starting from a blank slide. First thing we want to do is we want to add our image to the slide. Go to shapes and select the rectangle. Now we want to drag from the top left corner and drag it so it meets the middle of the slide. Release. We're going to give it a white fill and we're going to remove the outlines. Now we want to go for text box and drag a text box on the screen. Here I'm going to type in iron and then go to fonts and we want to go for impact. You can choose any font that you like but preferably you want a condensed font, so it's something which isn't too wide. You can select the size, and you see that 96 is the largest, but you can always click that plus button or like increase font size to go larger. You can also type in any number and press enter to have the same effect. I'm going to place it around here, and for the font size, I think I'll go for 185, somewhere in the middle. Select the text box, hold control shift and drag to create a copy. And then you can type in men and then select both and position them where you like. I'm going to leave some text or some room for some text at the bottom. Let's add a text box. So drag a text box here and I'm going to add some text to the slide. Also align it to the right and maybe make the font size a bit smaller. I'm using the font size or the font Montserrat and the sub font light. I think that goes quite well with the bold font here at the top. Now, a good thing to do is you want to duplicate the slide. So you always have one working file with the editable documents. Go to the second one, select the rectangle, hold shift, select the text and click on the both text elements. So we have selected all three elements. Go to shape format, merge shapes and combine. And this will get a cutout of that text in the shape. So you can see that we've now created a separate shape with a cutout of that text. Right click format shape. And now we can play around with the setting. So if you want to make it slightly off white, I think that always looks good. You can do that here. And we're also going to add a shadow preset. We're choosing for this offset bottom left so that we have the shadow effect on the text. And this creates some depth to the slide and like a layer effect on top of the picture. I'm going to reduce the transparency so it becomes more clear and then increase the distance by a few ticks and also maybe the blur. It's just a small details, but I think it really adds a difference. The shadow here at the border, you won't see. That's why we're choosing the angle from the, like the light comes from the top right and gives a shadow to the bottom left. So you have the inner shadows here in the letters. I think that looks best. Now let's preview this on full screen already. And here you can already see that really nice effect with the picture, the cutout text and some text on the slide. Now we can also animate this part. And for that, we're going to select both the shape and hold shift and select the text, go to animations, and we want to choose a fly in animation. Go to effect options and choose from left. So everything flies in from the left side. Let's open up the animation pane. First part, the form can stay on click. I think that's good. We're going to open effect options and timing. This all seems to be good. Maybe a smooth end. And we're going to put it to two seconds. We're going to do the same changes, smooth end and two seconds but we're going to give this a short delay of 0.3 seconds. And this can happen with previous so that you click once for the shape and the text will follow. Now let's preview that. So we have our highly impactful opening slide. And as soon as we click, the shape flies in as well as the text. I think this is a little bit too, the timing is a bit off. So I'm going to change it to 0.6. So it flies in or comes in at a later time. For the timing, I'm going to go for 1.5. I think two was a bit too slow. So you can do any custom settings here. Preview that again. And then once you click, you have that Iron Man flying in with the text at a different pace. And I think that looks really good. Now let's have a look at how we can change the images and customize the components on the slide. For the first one, we're just going to create a duplicate and easily give this a totally different feel by selecting one of the red colors. So let's go for a darker red color. And you can see that it instantly changes the whole feel of the slide. Let's make the text here white 
and then go to transitions. Let's maybe put a non -trans a fade transition here and then compare both side by side. So the first one, we have the white effect line. And then if you fade and go to the next slide, you see the red effect. So depending on the style that you're going for, both colors could work easily. Now, if you want to add more superheroes or different pictures, you can copy that original one. That's why we keep the original one always. Remove the image. And now let's paste in a different one, for example, from the Hulk, send to back. And here we can just change the words to the Hulk. And then of course, also the text we want to change and change the text also here to Montserrat and go for the light version. Expand it a bit. This way it looks nice. Same thing here, just duplicate, create, select the rectangle, hold shift, select both text boxes, shape format, and combine to have that effect. Now a cool trick to copy that same shadow effect is you select the original one with a shadow, hold control shift and C, that is your format painter, Go to the new one, select the object, Control shift v and this will copy that same formatting of the previous slide, and I think that looks really good. For the positioning of the image, you can see that sometimes it gives you a different image, and if you use the image, I kind of like to have that middle line in the middle of the face. This one, it works, but it still looks a bit odd, so you can always crop and then increase the size of the image so that it meets the middle line of the face, so a little less in this case. So you can really play around with the images, cropping the images to make them look professional and aligned. I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to drag those down and add one other example of Spider-Man, send to back, because the word of this one, Spider-Man, is a bit longer, so we can easily spit it up. And here you can see Spider doesn't fit. So I'm going to reuse the font size and increase the box. And then, man, you can choose depending on the style that you like, either you have two different fonts or you can make them both the same font as 140, 154, and then maybe shift it down a bit or put that text a little bit higher. And also here, I'm going to change the text to the font Montserrat and let's make it a light. I'm going to choose this slightly off black color. So it's not entirely black, or you can also change the entire color that is up to you to decide. Select the shape again, hold shift, shape format, combine, and there you have it. I'm going to make this one red as well, and then make the text white. Go to the Iron Man part, Control shift C, and Control shift V. Now, if you also want to animate in the same way, you can also use the animation painter. So go to the existing one, select one of the boxes or the shape, click on animation painter, go to the Hulk, and then click on that text box. You can do the same for the text box here, animation painter, and then click on the text element. And this will make sure that your animations will be copied exactly in the same way. So from this one, animation painter, do the same for Spider-Man. And then we're going to copy it once more, animation painter for the text, and put it on the text. Let's make sure that we have our fade transition in between. And now let's preview what we have. Delete this one. And now let's preview what we have. So in today's tutorial, we've learned how to make this cool cutout text effect in PowerPoint and customize them to your own colors so you can choose whichever style that you like. You can really customize it easily for different pictures and images and create a very engaging presentation for your audience. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to follow and watch the video on the screen right now.